Welcome to the SAP Warehouse Management Training. So who can learn SAP Warehouse Management? So SAP Inventory Management knowledge is mandatory to learn this course. A basic knowledge of warehouse functionality with regard to the way material is stored and moved in the warehouse is of great benefit but this is not mandatory so if you already have uh, knowledge about the warehouse functionality how the business works uh, that will be benefit for you to learn um, in this training you will be learning ev everything from scratch uh, all about warehouse management not only configuration in SAP but you will also understand SAP WM from the business point of view the only expectation from you is your desire and commitment to learn. The target audience for this course. This course is of interest not just to those who work directly with WM, but also those who work in related application areas such as SAP MM, PP and SD. This course should also interest warehouse or distribution managers who want to understand more about the functionality they may be considering such as storage unit management. This course will help those involved in MM understand more about the functions that occur when material has been moved to a storage location where WM is active in SAP. Those working with SD area will benefit from a better understanding of the outbound side of the warehouse management like how uh, material is picked from the customer sales order and the movement of the material for outbound deliveries. Production planning users in SAP will benefit from gaining familiarity with the way a material is received from the production and the picking of material for production orders. Quality management staff will gain a greater understanding of the general topics addressed in warehouse management. Project managers and SAP super users can also learn in depth warehouse function functionalities. About this training, this is an e-learning video based training. This is a complete SAP warehouse management consultant level course. This is an associate level WM certification oriented course and all the topics prescribed for the WM exam are covered. First few of the top videos are all about learning front end that is the warehouse management end user stuff. So basically we're both covering the front the end user stuff and the customizing part of it which is the uh, major side of the, this course. Remaining videos are all about learning customizing and the business processes in warehouse management. How to follow with this course? We recommend you to watch all videos first and then start the assignment task on SAP server. So assignments are given at the end of most videos that you can see, but we recommend you to first watch all videos and then later on start the assignment. The, the reason is, the main reason is that you may face some unknown errors during practicing linked to the incorrect customizing in, in MM FICO modules if your server is shared by the others too. So if you, if, you, if you bought a server access and it's used by others as well, or if it's your own server, then still there can be some missing customizing uh, in the other modules and if you start doing the assignment from the first video it's onwards then you may face some unknown errors so that's why we recommend you to first watch videos and then later on start again with the assignment some topics explained in the later videos will provide you some knowledge about these errors that you should be able to fix yourself how to prepare for the SAP certification exam First, we'll talk about the eligibility. A lot of questions we ask from our students that if I'm eligible in my country and what are the um, requirements to appear for the SAP exam. So in most Asian countries, you will need to enroll to the SAP authorized center to, be, to become eligible for SAP exam as a fresher. So please call your local SAP office to find out more about this. 
But if you're already experienced working in SAP within the same module, then probably you can skip this process. But no such requirement exists if you are from Western countries like Europe, US, UK, Canada, Australia, or New Zealand, etc. So if you're still unsure, then call your Google the local SAP uh, office number in your city and then call them and ask for the requirements. Preparing for the certification exam. I would advise you to below strategy, but please feel free to change as per your own experience. So our advice is watch all videos in order first, then watch each video again in order and keep doing assignment for every topic, then complete all videos and assignments. Then next step is now watch all videos again, but this time only go through the practical assignment where you do not feel confident. So only for those topics or those assignments, uh, we advise you to uh, go through this again where you not feeling confident. Then watch only those videos where you do not feel confident. Now this time we'll only watch the videos, no assignment this time. Then now go through the seduction questions and see how well you can answer. You will feel yourself whether you are confident for appearing in a SAP certification exam or not. So once you start answering the question for the certification exam style question, then you will feel that if you are prepared or not yet. Please keep revising until you feel confident. Remember the only key to learn SAP and pass certification exam is practice, practice, practice on SAP server. So this is very, very important to practice each and every topic as many times as you can. Now we'll learn about uh, what is SAP warehouse management. So SAP warehouse management or also known, known as, as SAP WM. So as we know, this is all about how a product is stored within a warehouse and there are different strategies that, that is provided by SAP. For example, how to pick up a material, then where the system should, should, should search for it or if you want to put away some material, then where it should be stored in which rack and all that. So we'll go through in detail in the later videos about how the system works and what are the different functions that we have. So just an introduction about what is SAP Warehouse Management. The SAP WM application provides flexible automated support to assist you in processing all goods movement and in maintaining current stock inventories in your warehousing complex. The, S the Warehouse Management application is fully integrated into the SAP R3 system. Transactions that are initiated in other SAP components result in corresponding tasks in warehouse management which activate the actual physical transfer within the warehouse. Warehouse management allows organization to control and administer warehouse operations from the time goods or materials enter a warehouse until they move out. In other words, WM is an extension of SAP MM module or SAP MM inventory management module. It is also known as WMS. That means warehouse management system. So your, S, your warehouse management um, uh, system is interfaced with the other SAP module. So here you can see uh, this is first um, uh, interface with the inventory man management module which is the main integration of the SAP WM and then it's also integrated with the production planning where we supply the goods to the production planning area to the work center and we also receive the the products from the uh, from the manufacturing side of it it's also integrated with the quality management so we'll talk about all this in detail later on then it is also uh, integrated with the remote processing where you can use the the BASC, BASC scanner, uh, which we'll talk later on again. And this is also integrated with the sales and distribution module, which is where we have the sales order and how they are delivered. And all the delivery process will use the WM functionality to look for the material for the picking process. So we'll, we'll talk about in detail in the later videos. 
warehouse management is a part of the logistic execution LE module. So here you can see, so basically the, there's a there's a LE module logistic execution in SAP um, system and underneath we have three different modules. So warehouse management is a part of this. So other modules are shipping and transportation module, but warehouse management is a part of the LE module. Why we need SAP WM? So when, when I talk about why we need SAP WM as compared to the SAP MM, or in other words, you can say SAP inventory management side of SAP uh, MM. So let's talk about some challenges within MM inventory management. So the functionality or the problems or the challenges that we have when we use inventory management, but there's some other function that still we need in the business process to track a material, to update a material, etc. So the challenges with SAP MM inventory management are like lack of detailed detailed visibility of the material flow. So once you, for example, if you used MM or inventory management, as soon as you complete the MIGO transaction, you will have the system will show the material in your stock, but in actual, you still need to put the material somewhere or the still, it will start the follow-on process. For example, the four-click driver will go and pick up the material, will take it to a, some area, designated area, then they will next they will take it to the to the rack or somewhere. But in MM side of it, it will still show you that in the stock, but again the other processes still need to be completed. So that's a lack of visi detailed visibility of the material flow. So we'll talk about all these in details later on again. For example, when the delivery pickup list is generated, the delivery's actual pick quantity is updated prior to the actual picking. You can understand all this stuff only when you understand the SAP inventory side of it. Then requires manual updates when quantity differs. Inability to assign incoming materials to outbound demand to avoid multiple material handling. Immediate update of inventory receipt and good issue. System inventory and status not representative of the physical process. Limited visibility to locations of materials. So you, you don't know where the exactly material is located within the warehouse. So within a specific rack or within a specific area within the rack. So you never know using when you use the inventory management. So only possible to assign a single fixed bin location per story lo location. Bin location is text only, no strategies are available. So when we say story location, uh, maybe 0001. So we don't know that where exactly within story location the material is there. What part of the building, for example, what, what part of the rack, for example. So WM will pick up where I am leaves off. So this screen is showing you the, the basically the organizational structure of SAP um, warehouse management and SAP inventory management. So we'll talk about this in detail later, later on and we'll also customize uh, structure. Um, but here you can quickly see that the top part of the screen is your inventory management or the MM side of it, where you have a plant and then you have store location. So underneath the store location, the warehouse management level will start so it will start with a warehouse number warehouse number will have storage types store types will have bin bin will have quant so we'll, we'll talk about all these details in the next videos benefits of sap mm as compared to inventory management track exact stock location within a story location it is able to manage the structure of warehouse no matter how complex they are, provides better picking and put away strategies, can be interfaced to external non-SAP system, provides many options to monitor stock movements, can use barcode scanners, hence making the entire process of inventory much easier, manage inventory at storage bin level, manage hazards, materials and processing of all stock movements valid for warehouse management receipts, issues, transfer, etc. So 
Now we'll talk about the measurable benefits of using warehouse management. So using the system, uh, uh, the research has shown that we can have 16 to 25 percent peaking productivity improvements. We can have 11 to 25 percent reduction in the customer returns, 10 to 25 percent saving in the material handling labor, 10 to 40 percent space utilization improvement, 13 to 30 percent reduction in scrap, 8 to 15 percent reduction in carrying cost. So that's all about the introduction side of SAP warehouse management and thank you very much for watching this video. So we'll talk more about it in the next videos.